Hi, group one. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next pick a card. So this one is their next move. This is where I get you guys some insight into your person and their next actions towards you. What are they going to do um, to get closer to you, to maybe have some deeper level of a relationship with you? What actions is this person going to take? Okay. So group one, whoever you're thinking about, um, whoever you have a soul connection with, a romantic interest, um, it could even be somebody new and you just want to know what, what are their next steps. This is where I take a look. Okay. So let's get started. You guys chose the pyrite. Okay. That is what you were drawn to and the dark wood tarot. Okay. So first I want to grab an oracle. A love story oracle to see what action this person is going to take towards you. All right. I just want to get a little bit here first before I go into your reading. Okay. What action? So caution in the reverse feels a little bit like change behavior. Okay. Um, some of you could have someone coming towards you that is about to prove to you that they are no longer a red flag or that they have worked on some of their red flag behavior, some of their triggering behavior. So let's see what comes through in the tarot for their next move and the action this person is taking towards you. Six of wands. All right. What action is your person taking towards you? Two of wands. Okay. We have the page of pentacles. All right, the Six of Cups. Lovers, okay. And the Nine of Cups. So we have the, yeah, the Five of Cups at the bottom kind of confirms this red flag behavior coming to an end, some change behavior, um, starting with a possible apology and admission of regret and remorse. Um, I feel like some standout energies that are showing up from your person group one are that they are trying to get back to you. Okay. I do feel like this is someone who's either trying to find a way to get closer to you or after a period of separation and no communication, trying to get back to you. Okay. This does start with communication is what it looks like. I do feel like this person makes a, a bold decision to reach out to you. Um, that start, that starts the action. And I do feel like this is coming across as what they want to address. The five of cups at the bottom. I feel like this can represent an apology for someone who looks like they're missing you a lot. For someone who looks like they believe you are their wish fulfillment, their soulmate. Um, you know, kind of starting with the five of cups as an action could feel like this person is not happy without you. And so there's just like this clear definitive choice to make a, to make a, um, to make some, uh, take some action towards you and to make something, um, make something better. You know, I feel like there's something that this person could feel like they screwed up and they could be very regretful about it. And so they want to make things better with you. They want to make things right with you. So um, let's break these energies down. They could also with these three three cups like knock down and those two of cups in the back, this person could definitely be um, freeing themselves from certain behaviors and even certain people. OK, this could even be about a friend group, right? It could definitely represent um, third party energies of this person no longer wanting to uh, deal or in engage in like sneaky behaviors and um, third party connections. But this could also just represent anything that came in between your connection. This person is wanting to like stand up for your relationship and get rid of those things. So um, let's see what comes through. So the six of wands, I do feel like this person is going to do something to get your attention, group one. Um, the six of wands is saying that this person believes that they have something they know you will love, something they feel is a winner, right? I, I feel like this person has al already has like some type of game plan and it does feel like they are basically going, okay, this is what I'm going to do. 
I do feel like this person um, is is wanting your attention. I do feel like this could involve giving you some attention. I have the King of Wands here. They could definitely do something very flashy, very standout. This is Leo energy. So something very big and grand. It feels like this person could do some sort of grand gesture. You know what I mean? It could even be like something online. It could be something like I'm getting an image of like a banner <laughs> on like a helicopter and them saying I miss you and it doesn't have to be that but it does feel like it's going to steal your heart basically right that's what a king of, of wands can definitely um be known for so I do feel like this person is going to take um some sort of action you could be dealing with a Leo also have Gemini here all right, Aries strongly in Sagittarius. Scorpio is also showing up. What's the Six of Wands? Yeah, justice. This looks like um some type of public apology even, you know, justice uh, clarifying the Six of Wands can represent this person is feeling like making a, a really big show of, of some type of um, apology or explanation. It feels like they do want to make things right. So that is being confirmed. So this person's next actions towards you is to get your attention so they can make things right. And it feels like, you know, in modern times that can definitely represent social media, but it can also just be this person, um, in the six of wands energy, feeling confident and bold, asking you out and, you know, doing something in the park, right? Having some type of display in a, in a park or something that is, is kind of old school, but very romantic. I do feel like some, some energy is kind of showing up for somebody here, like a proposal. Okay. I am strongly getting that. Let me just clarify this justice. Some of you are dealing with someone who feels like the only way to make things right is to go to some deeper level of commitment with you. Um, and so that's coming in from this person, the five of swords, winning at all costs, doing whatever it takes is what I get from this. I don't really get negative energy from this five of swords. I get that this person may kind of feel like the time is now or, you know, they don't want to lose you. They don't want to miss out on you for good. And so it's really time to take some, some blunt action. It's really time to do something that's really going to, um, win you over. Basically this, this is a winning energy, the six of wands and the five of swords. This is major. I cannot be defeated in this. I will apologize. I will get on my knees and beg group one. I will explain myself to group one. I will make some sort of public job to group towards group one I'll do whatever it takes okay and so what you can take from this um group one is that this person has the right idea um they're starting with like the five of cups feeling maybe somewhat miserable and sad um and like they haven't done enough they could be disappointed in themselves and so they want to take some type of bold action so the two of swords this person could um have like more than one way that they are because I'm getting that they're pursuing you. I don't feel like that is the should I do it or should I should I not? I'm getting it's more. OK, should I do it this way or should I do it that way with the two of swords? I'm getting that this person has more than one way um, they are thinking about at this time of pursuing you, which is why some of them haven't come in yet. Right. Um, there's some sort of choice about how to approach this that feels like it's going to be presented in this page of Pentacles energy. So let's see what the two of swords is saying. All right, what's the two of swords? The page of swords, okay. Yeah, so you may feel like this is someone who's observing you right now, group one. You could feel like this is someone who's trying to get information on you. You may notice this person um, watching you online. You may notice they're liking things more. You may also notice that they've asked friends about you. There's some sort of like curiosity that's taking place right now so this so that this person can make a choice um, how to rush in. OK, I do feel like you have someone who's basically like I'm rushing in. I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. But I do feel like they have more than one way. OK, the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, very fast paced energies, also energies that are heavily about talking, communicating, um, no matter how it comes out, this is somebody that feels like they know they're ready to talk. They know they have things to say. They know they have things they want to express. Okay. They may not want to come across as too much to overwhelm you, but I am picking up a strong curiosity that this person feels like, okay, enough time has passed or, you know, we've been through enough and I figured out what I want to do to make some changes. So 
let's take a look at the page of swords the two of wands there's the strategy right there so they definitely have a decision about how to approach you i feel like this person um is very intrigued right now um there could be some things you're doing online yep there's the ace of wands they're getting some ideas they don't even need you maybe they could just be looking online like oh group one would love this or i remember when group one said they wanted to do this there's some type of ideas this person is getting um and so their next actions towards you feel like it's about something you they know you would be interested in something they know is going to um get you uh stimulated or just get you excited and interested but they're definitely plotting their um entrance or re-entering your life okay in a big way i'll say um and so the the page of pentacles feels like um a, an offer it feels like a new offer it feels like this person is definitely grounded um when they come in they are focused on stability um it looks like they are focused on learning from some lessons okay i will say that that change behavior could definitely be a big part of this page of pentacles offer um some of you, I feel like the action this person is taking towards you, I'm getting um, your person saying I'm different now. You know, um, things will be different now. Something, some sort of variation of that. What's the page of Pentacles? The, the King of Pentacles, okay? So I did reference stability. Um, this person may have made some... Uh, big purchases or they may have stepped their game up financially and so it does feel like they want to share this with you again i'm getting some sort of big show some sort of big offer um for those of you that are in like a longer term relationship and you feel like maybe you have got it through to your person you know you want marriage there's definitely somebody here that looks like they're getting proposed to all right sometimes the uh, page of pentacles is my proposal energy depending on what's around it and accompanied by the king of pentacles does feel very heavily like that it also feels like someone who is confirmed to be taking things to the next level with you wanting to like rush this and jump right in and go right into like being with you but definitely feeling like they are going to um come across as very more like more well thought out than that more responsible more mature so what's the king of pentacles it, it's the Hierophant and then, um, you know, the Ton of Cups. So some of you look, this person, some of you may be in like deeper connections, right? We may not even be talking about you've been out of contact, right? You, you possibly have, but for a lot of you, you may be inquiring about somebody you've been with um, for enough time, you feel, and it's time to take things to the next level. And it looks like that's the action your person is taking. Um, this person feels like they have their eye on marriage. This person feels like they are willing to commit and invest in you. Um, this person feels like they are honoring their values, their beliefs, their morals. Um, I feel like they are different. You know, you may not recognize this mature, this level of maturity from this person. Strong, strong Taurus energy. They could you know be a Taurus have it in their chart or there's a possibility around like Taurus season even um this person like got some ideas about you like bringing you into their life like in a serious way purchasing a home um telling their family about you I do feel like there's some type of milestone that's accompanying these energies where I feel like this person feels like you guys are ready for the next level so their actions towards you could is it feels like it's following and honoring their values which feels like it is about creating a happy um relationship with you having good times with you creating memories with you um for a lot of you this person could want to travel with you that could be a show of serious you take your first vacation together or you do something um, with each other that signifies, you know, you're more serious and committed. So I definitely picked that up. So the six of cups, you know, I'm still getting kind of that them wanting your forgiveness. And so coming in with a, an apology with the six of cups, I do feel like this person is wanting for a lot of you, if they're just coming back in, they want to pick up where y'all left off. So I do feel like the change behavior and they're, and they've worked on some things. Um, I do feel like some type of explanation coming in, some type of apology for sure. Um, but I am getting this person believes you guys have something special and they don't want 
you know, any obstacles that came in between you to ruin that. They do want to go back to some sort of flow, some sort of chemistry you had. Um, and it does feel like they want to just like pick up at the good times. What's the six of cups? This person could want to treat you out. This like mama bird is feeding the baby bird. And so they could want to feed you, treat you out. I'm definitely getting like some type of like sexy night as well for their action towards you. They could plan a date that involves like some real sultry, sensual, passionate evening where they planned it all out. The two of swords with the six of cups. Yeah, it's kind of what I was saying. They want to pick up where they left off. They don't really want to um, have any obstacles come in between you. With the two of swords, this feels like they actually want to block out some things that could have um, hindered you guys from moving forward together or created like issues in your relationship. I do feel like they want to discuss them, but I feel like they kind of want to rush through them. They kind of want to not gloss over them. I'm not picking that up. This feels like someone who wants to take accountability. Um, but I also feel like if there's something like, again, those friendships or those, uh, behaviors that might not have sat well with you, this person is, uh, definitely coming in saying they're not doing that anymore. They've stopped it. They made a choice. They want to take the more, um, mature, more committed route with you. What's the two of swords? And the world, yeah, confirming and ending. They, you know, they finish out a cycle of their, with their past. So this could be really good news for those of you. You wanted this person to get rid of their past in some way. I'm going to cover up the world, but, um, I do feel like this person is serious about moving on. This person is serious about moving forward with you. Um, I don't feel like they're running from conversation. There's just way too many or explanations or anything. I feel like there's way too many swords energies and mature energies to say that they're going to try to back out of some type of accountability. Um, I'm just not getting that that's the strongest energy. The strongest energy is that while there have been things in the past that you guys took issue with or had like challenges and obstacles with in your connection, this person kind of wants to address them and then move forward. You know, I feel like they don't want you to question too much how they feel about you. Um, and I do feel like they're going to be very like receptive, you know, to what you have to say. It does feel like important conversation is happening. Queen of Swords energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like this person wants to get like to the nitty gritty, right? We go to the lovers and the nine of cups right beside each other. So I am getting that their action towards you feels like they want things to lead to passion. They want things to lead to you guys being together, um, intimately having that um, intensity and closeness again, or, you know, for the first time, if it's a milestone for your connection. What's the lovers? The ton of wands. They could be sexually stressed and frustrated right now, you know, and so I feel like they want to relieve that, but with you, okay? Some of you are dealing with someone who's been celibate in the Hierophant energy, who hasn't been entertaining others. There's really nothing here saying that that's what's been up. Um, and so as they return, they have this energy, like everything that's been pent up and built up that they want to discuss, that they want to share with you, that they want to fight for. It's all going to come out um, when they take action towards you. So that Ten of Wands feels like this person definitely wants to um, relieve some sensual frustration with you. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, it's the Nine of Cups representing pleasure, representing like good times. The Knight of Cups at the bottom, it's all self-explanatory. It makes sense. But you do have someone coming in romancing you. They're, they're making sense as well, but you do feel like you have someone coming in wanting to show you um, more than a good time, but definitely that's a part of it. All right. This person wants to please you too. I get that that's more the energy than them pleasing themselves or them having you please them. It's about them pleasing you. And this doesn't even have to just be in a sexual way. It could be this person like doing things for you, showing up as in service to you, giving you a gift or gifts, um, being very super sweet and romantic with you, um, offering you things. This person just feels like they're going to be more accommodating for a lot of you, doing whatever you want here. The Nine of Cups, 
Okay, so some of you are definitely getting like some tangible items from this person. They want to show you, um, you know, how invested or interested they are. What's the nine of cups? Yep, ten of pentacles. Some They want to spend money. Okay, that's what I'm getting. You're dealing with someone who's very serious, someone who's very mature. Um, I feel like this person could also have a desire to introduce you to family members, invite you into their home, um, show you their community. Again, I am getting something about moving in. Some of you, you may be dealing with someone who has a new home or who um, has some property or land or something that they want to show you. This person feels like they do things big, okay? It feels like they really do things in a very big way. And so I do see, you know, them coming in showy, <laughs> you know, definitely impressive, but more about substance. This is what I can offer you. This is how it will be with me type thing. What's the 10 of pentacles? It's the eight of cups. I definitely get a big energy. This person is um presenting you with like, some type of information that they like let go of like friends or family or habits or something. I feel like they stepped up to the plate. If that's what a lot of you asked or have been asking of them in this emperor energy, this person is pursuing you in a way that feels like they're not going to let anybody hold them back. The 10 of pentacles with the eight of cups can definitely be moving. So this person could want you to move in with them. Um, this person could feel like, uh, they're ready. Like if you feel like you've been hidden from their family or something, the eight of, the, the, yeah, the eight of cups could feel like any dissatisfaction you have with like that, you know, type of issue. I haven't met your family. You haven't introduced me to your kids, your friends. I do feel like they're going to rectify that. This person is stepping up. Some of you may meet their kids. Okay. Uh, the emperor can represent a father, strong Aries energy. So I want to take a look. I am going to see what this is specifically about in the extended, this caution in the reverse. I addressed a little bit of it here, but I'm going to clarify it in the extended and go further. I want to see what else is coming through for their next action towards you so that I can clarify it in the extended group one friendship. Okay. I did mention some of you, this person wants to introduce you to their family, friends, community. So we'll see exactly why that's there. All right, self-worth. And one more, please, for what's coming through. Um, let's see. What action are they taking towards you? Forgiveness. So we have caution in the reverse. Uh, friendship, self-worth, forgiveness. I want to take a look at what action they're taking towards you when it comes to this relationship. All right, the runner. I'll clarify these in the extended. The dragonfly. Coffin. And love. Okay, so I'm also going to take a look at what's motivating them to take action towards you, group one. That can give you a glimpse into their intentions. I'm also going to take a look at what's been blocking them or what could currently still show up as a blockage um, as far as them taking action towards you. I also want to take a look at some messages your person has for you in their own words, okay? So group one, I do want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I am taking this to the extended book. First, I appreciate you for liking the video, subscribing to the channel, letting me know what you think in the comments, hitting the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I upload videos like this. Um, if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the link in the description box. And I am taking this to the extended now. Hi, Group 2. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you so much for tuning in to your next Pick a Card reading, which is their next move. What actions will your person take towards you? So this can resonate for those of you who um, have a soulmate, um, someone you are connected to romantically, even a person of interest. If you don't have anyone at this time, this can represent someone who you have no idea is about to show up. Um, with some sort of action towards you. Okay. So let's take a look group two at the actions. Um, what's their next move? 
what actions um, is your person going to take towards you? So you guys have the blue appetite that you were drawn to. And the tarot of the divine. So before I get into your tarot portion, let's see um, my overall message of what action this person is taking to give us some sort of like insight here. Codependency. So you guys got someone coming in who wants you to be stuck on them. All right, so this can manifest in a few ways. Um, money, you know, they can try to like, um, you know, tempt you or splurge on you uh, when it comes to money. This person um, could also be someone who doesn't want you to get away. <laughs> um, and so that can manifest into like, if you're not careful, depending on, you know, what you want, this person could, you know, want children. Okay, they could want to have a child with you. This person... I'm getting just like a strong energy of they don't want you to leave. So the action they're taking towards you, it could even feel a little desperate for what someone is about to do. Let's take a look. Let's see. The emperor. Okay. So they may be controlling or you may start to see that in them. Four of wands. What action is this person taking towards group two? The nine of coins. Ten of swords. The ace of cups. Okay. Three of coins. And we have death. So two cards representing ending here, death and the ten of swords, feels a lot like this is someone who doesn't want things to be over with you. So they may be ending things with someone else. All right. This may be taking place now. It may have already taken place and they're just coming to deliver some sort of news message or like we can move forward now, something like that. With death, I am strongly getting um, the action this person. It's almost like you're dealing with somebody who keeps coming back. <laughs> Um, yeah, they can't stay away or they don't want to, they don't want you to leave them. They don't want to be left by you specifically. This is someone who, um, could, you know, have a tendency to be a little controlling. I'm not going to say possessive or obsessing over you just yet. I don't have the energies to support that here, but I am getting someone who wants to kind of lock you down. Um, there is some type of renewal or some type of fresh start coming in from this person, which is which is why death could be here as well. This person um, could be representing someone who has is coming in changed in some way. Okay, uh, personality wise, effort wise, they could just feel a little different with death. So the action they're planning to take towards you feels like some sort of transformation or changes happening or they're taking in their life in order to be with you. Specifically, some of you may not get more action from this person or action from them until the end of the month. Okay. So just keep that in mind. It won't resonate for all of you, but I am getting if there's like some sort of transformation, changes and endings taking place. They're not going to like do this and a new beginning at the same time. They want something completely done over with so that they can make some sort of new offer to you or some sort of renewal with you. So the emperor, okay? So I feel like this person is going to take action. This is strong action. This is someone very clear, very decisive. I'm just strongly getting somebody who wants you to be hooked on them or somebody who wants you to rely on them. I'll say rely on them, you know, first. Uh, somebody who just wants you to be... Um, they want to appear dependable. So I do feel someone who is about to do something to show you that you can rely on them, to show you that you can look to them. Okay, so you have Aries, Scorpio here. Capricorn energy. What's the emperor? King of Swords. 
Yeah, you got someone very dominant coming in or about to take action towards you. This person has a lot to say, and I feel like they're going to be very serious about it. This can even feel like someone who um, is not as tapped into their emotions as you would like them to be, but you feel them when they talk. So there is some sort of communication coming in. It feels like it could be along the lines of something official this person is doing or about to do that they feel is important for you to know, okay? Um, there could be somewhat of an emotional distance with this um, communication from this person, but it is feeling like that's because something is very serious. It can almost feel like, so, like for example, if this person is going through a divorce and they're like, I just needed you to know that I'm, you know, I'm finally taking those steps. I filed the papers. I got the lawyer. Um, so I'm working on that, you know, and I'll just keep you updated. It could be just, it's just like really formal, really official, but it does feel like something that they do want to lead to a new beginning between you and them. That's why I also said some of you, you know, may not get this action, won't resonate for all of you. Some of you, this person could come right in, right? But until the, this is somebody who feels like they're, they're moving very like sh strategic. Okay. They don't rush things. They know what they want, but they don't feel the need to rush. Um, but there is some energy that this person feels like they want to have a clean ending somewhere else or with something first. This can even be someone who's like, I'm done traveling for work in the next week or so. And then I'll be able to like take you out. OK, so it could be really formal communication. Nothing really too inspiring or passionate, but serious, <laughs> you know. All right. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. This is definitely someone serious. They could be, you know, an Aries. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but someone who works really hard, someone who feels like they are t making an effort here, okay? The action they're taking feels a lot like they could even be saving up to do something with you with the Four of Pentacles at the bottom. This person definitely is holding on to you, right? Let's say you made some sort of ultimatum and you were like, I need you to do this by this time. This is them making it happen, whether it's, I need you to get a better job. I need you to work on that divorce. I need you to, you know, focus on me more, give me more time. That's exactly what your person is working on. So something is telling me you guys communicated your wishes and desires to this person and that's, they're working on it. Um, this person is very focused. I feel like the action they're taking towards you, it could feel like they're distant or distracted. It could feel like they're not really focusing on a relationship, but they're focusing on something that feels like it could benefit your relationship at this time. Okay. So that's the action they're taking. Some of this action feels like it could even take place away from you, right? If it's not directly with and to you, this is just somebody that's like calling the lawyer. Like, I really want to be with group two. So I got to do what I got to do in this marriage situation. This is somebody who's like, I really want to be with group two. So I got to prove that, you know, I can multitask, you know, something like that is going on with this person really feeling like they're uh, wanting to show you in, in action and in deed that they're serious. So the four of wands. Some of you um, may be a plus one at a wedding or some sort of an event, maybe an engagement party. Okay, this person may have a date to something formal. I'm getting your person feels very sophisticated, very elegant, or there could be a, an event that has that um, sort of a style, very elegant, sophisticated. They could want you there with them. What's the four of wands, the nine of wands? Yeah, I feel like this is someone who doesn't want you to leave them or doesn't want you to be turned off by maybe a busy lifestyle or some distractions they have in their life. This person wants to fight for you is what I'm getting. They want to fight for um, a stronger, deeper connection with you. I do have the Knight of Cups, so I am getting a romantic pursuit. It may not feel very romantic to you from this person because they're kind of like... I feel like they're more about action than words or feelings or something. Some of you could have an issue with that, but they're doing something that is a, about following their heart towards you. All right. What's the nine of wands? It's the page of swords. Yeah, this feels like them like curious if you want to. They could be really nervous too. 
but they put up a strong front. They could be really nervous about asking you to do something with them or to go somewhere with them. Some of you are getting some sort of invitation though. Some of you, um, some action this person may be taking could be about like blocking someone they had a relationship with from their like social media page so that there's no drama or conflict. So that could just be like something small taking place, but it's a deed, right? It's an action. All right. Some of you may have met or will be meeting this person online. And so I am also getting online communication. All right. So the nine of coins for the action this person is taking towards you. I feel like they want to show you their life. Okay. They want to show you their abundance. They want to show you what they've been working on. You could have someone who's a creative who's been working on some sort of project. They want to show it to you. So some of you, this person may invite you to their job too, right? That feels like it makes sense for this person. Hey, come to my job, watch me work, see what I do for a living, something like that. I'm also getting a lunch date. All right, you guys meet up for lunch. And that's something that feels like it's coming in. What's the nine of coins, the hermit? Something possibly secluded and intimate, but where you can be alone together <laughs> is what this feels more like than, you know, sort of just like not dealing with each other. But again, you are dealing with someone who feels like um, they could feel a little distant. But what I'm getting is that they do want some alone time with you. So that feels like it's coming in. This person may cook for you as well, group two. Or want to. Two of Cups. Yeah, alone time with you. That's what I'm getting. Um, you may also be dealing with someone who wants a serious relationship, but a private one. Okay, I am getting someone feeling like they're trying to fortify social media and maybe people outside of your, your connection, the information they have about you or about this connection. This person wants something discreet. But not for, I feel, reasons to play games. It feels like they're really mature. They could be a lot older than you or just older. And they're like, I don't have time for like drama games and, and you know, online flirtations. So uh, I do feel like this is someone who is going to want that time with you without any sort of distractions. You could have a really, really special date. Coming in from this person, group two. You guys could go somewhere in nature. Okay, you could have, um, there could be a garden. See, that's why I'm getting like a wedding, some type of event that's in like a garden or in nature. Maybe an intimate wedding, right? And, um, Nobody knows they invited you. It's, it's something like that. Like this person is kind of a mystery here in this energy. But I do feel like they want more time with you, alone time with you. So the Ten of Swords, all right, for the action this person is taking towards you, it does feel like they are... I feel like this person um, right now could be like really ending things, like going through a rough ending, a bad ending. They don't want you to get turned away by that. Like, let's say you met this person or you know what this person is dealing with and it's very dramatic. They're doing everything they can to keep the drama and chaos away from you. So it does feel like they're making some sort of a uh, place to end something here so they can start over or start with you or have a new beginning. Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they're almost waiting for some sort of dust to settle. They're waiting for something to come in, some sort of confirmation, a document, some sort of finalized thing. Something that feels like they're waiting for it and it would make them very happy. The sun. Um, for some of you, you, okay, let's say you had an ending with this person. They are manifesting and waiting for better days with you. 
All right. It does still feel like they reach out. It, it's, it's the same type of communication, very serious, but their intentions or their mood for you feels like it's hidden, but very happy and hopeful showing up. They're waiting for some sort of changes too, which has kind of been a theme of your person's reading with this ending or these endings showing up. I got the tower behind the, um, well, of fortune, you could have somebody hoping for some sort of divine intervention. That's like somebody who's dealing with something that they feel is very like overwhelming and they're like praying for it to be over or they're praying for things to change. Um, this person could also know something is going to change very soon and make it possible for you guys. So there's definitely indication they're ending something and somebody's been trying to hold on to them. Or there's like a job or a situation they've been holding on to. They're about to let it go. Because they realize a part of why you can't come to them or a part of why they can't go to you is that something is in the way. All right. So the Ace of Cups. All right. So your person does feel like they are working on some sort of love offer and expression of love, feelings coming forward. They have new feelings or new thoughts about um, being with you. A lot of them feel like you're like good for them. Could want to tell you that. What's their next move? What are the actions they're taking? Ace of Cup. Yeah, the Emperor again. Yeah, I'm getting this person owns up to their feelings. They tell you how they feel. They express it very passionately. You may not be expecting it from somebody who can come across as a little cold and detached, but they're going to warm up is what it looks like when they get time with you. Knight of Wands. This is someone who also may just come alive when they're with you. The Emperor. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're dealing with someone who wants to like be with you, live with you, marry you. That could be kind of what I'm picking up. They don't want you to go. So somebody here may be getting like a new home <laughs> or this person has a new home and that's where they want, they would like for you to reside. A lot of the time I'm getting something because I got an empress here. Some of you, this person wants to play house, you know, because it's the empress and the emperor showing up. They, they could want to make it a lot more formal than that. But I do feel someone who wants to have you, okay, and make it clear that you are theirs. This is someone who could also want to spend money, you know. This is somebody who wants to spend a lot of money on you, somebody who wants to do something with you as far as like travel, vacation. Um, I'm also getting, you know, um, family family events. I'm still getting wedding. You know, you may be this person's plus one. They could look at you as their empress and they're the emperor or vice versa. It just feels like somebody who feels like they're, they're all yours and they want you to be all theirs. So the three of coins, the three of pentacles energy, I feel like the action this person is taking towards you has a lot to do with mixing, um, some of the things you've been wanting while still honoring themselves, okay? So working together and compromising on certain things. Yeah, so you can both be happy. Ten of Cups, I'm getting big energies about a house, a home, property, happiness, and some type of accomplishment. So this person could have like some big news as well. What's the Ten of Cups? The Seven of Cups? They want to, yeah, a celebration, I said big news, but I think I meant like a celebration. <laughs> Three of Cups. It's some type of celebration coming in. I do feel like this person is um, curious if you'll attend with them, be a plus one. This is someone who feels like with the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Um, they want to make you happy in many different ways. Okay, this is someone who wants to bring you happiness. They want to do a whole bunch of things so that you don't have to leave them or want anybody else. That's what I get. Somebody who doesn't want you to want for anything. So they could feel a little squared and straight lace. 
in the first part of the month and then start to warm up and start to show out, you know, in the later part of the month. For some of you, this could be about somebody entering your life, someone new entering your life um, who isn't, you know, around yet, but this is how it unfolds. Okay. So let's take a look at more. I am going to clarify codependency to get more specific about why it showed up for their next move. All right. I want to get you as much clarity as possible. Let's see what else is coming through. Freedom. Strongly getting this person is severing ties elsewhere to create stronger bonds or a stronger bond with you. Gifts, pick that up. So I'll clarify these. All right. Passion. All right. So I am going to clarify codependency, freedom, gifts, and passion. Let's take a look at their next move when it comes to this connection. All right. What actions are they taking? Talking. All right. Got that. Clarifying that in the extended addiction. There's your codependency. I'm feeling somebody can't be without you or feels like that or starting to. Healing heart and ascending. So I'll take a deeper look into those. I'm also going to take a look at what's motivating this person to take action towards you, which can give you a little insight into their intentions at this time. I also am going to take a look at what could be blocking them from taking action towards you right now, which it feels like they're going to communicate what that is. But I do want to see what comes through and if it aligns with sort of what I'm picking up here. And I am also going to take a look at messages from your person at this time in their own words. If they could say anything to you right now, group two, what would they say? Okay. So going deeper into these messages in the extended, but I do appreciate you guys for hitting that like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the link in the description box. And I am taking this to the extended now. Hi, group three. It's the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next pick a card meeting, which is their next move. What action or actions will your person take towards you next? Okay, so this is where I get you some insight into the person you're connected to on a soul level, um, someone you have romantic interest in, someone you're dealing with, just to see what actions are they going to take towards you next. Okay, so group three, let's go ahead and get started. You guys we're drawn to the pyrite all right and the golden wheel tarot so i do want to get one card from the love story oracle to see where this is going okay what action is group three's person taking towards group three thank you so much okay memories so this can be one of two things. This person can find themselves a lot more nostalgic. Okay. And so actions they're taking like towards you could be something trying to jog your memory. Like maybe it's a subtle way they're doing something online. Um, this person could be sharing memories with you. Um, this, you know, they could even just be thinking about you a lot. Or I feel like this person could be trying to make new memories with you. This person could be doing um, a lot, actually asking you out, taking you places, enjoying um, more experiences with you. So this is somebody who is possibly going to be very nostalgic and finding ways to maybe get their strength and confidence up to take action towards you because of these memories and this nostalgia, or they are going to actively be creating memories with you and, um, you know, it, like if you're dealing with like a photographer or an artist, this person could like literally be like, um, you know, taking pictures of you, drawing you, painting you. That's for those of you dealing with like those types of individuals. That's something specific coming through. But I do feel like somebody is wanting to create memories with you and have more experiences. So group three, let's see what's coming through. Yeah. King of Cups. Okay. What action is this person taking towards you? So I do have the Queen of Wheels in the reverse. The Two of Cups. What action is this person taking towards you? Ace of Wands. Six of Swords. All right, what action is your person taking? What's their next move? The moon 
and the Five of Cups. One of the groups got this at the bottom. So, yeah, strongly getting nostalgia, someone missing you. You guys may be dealing with someone who feels like they need to... Um, work on things in their life uh outside of like technically the ace of wands there's no real action the king of cups could definitely be expressive but it's more subtle um it's definitely a show of support okay so for those of you who have some type of project or you're working on something this person could call you check in with you hey i just wanted to make sure you were okay things were going well with your project um, I do feel like this, this is someone who is very romantically interested in you, but something does feel like it's, it's, they're down. Okay. And so, um, their next moves, it real, it will really depend on your person and if they're able to like get their confidence up. This feels like sadness. You know, some of them feel like maybe they want to share their sadness or what they're going through with you. As far as what they're going through, I'm getting a specific message here. The King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Two of Cups. You could be dealing with someone who really wants to be with you, but feels like they're stuck with someone else. A lot of you could be dealing with someone who is in a third party, okay? Someone who feels like they have strong feelings for you. Um, they want to be with you, but they're stuck in some sort of situation where they live with somebody, they have kids with somebody, um, maybe a marriage, not strongly picking that up, but this person does feel like they're just like reminiscing and super nostalgic about you. And if that's the case, they may not be with you, right? And so their next moves feels like it's a lot about dreaming about being with you. It's a lot about... Um, going through ideas of how to get closer to you. Okay, so let's just take a look and break these down. So King of Cups. So the King of Cups, like I said, can indicate some sort of communication coming in that lets you know this person cares about you, has feelings for you, loves you. Um, something considerate. Something where this person wants you to know that they are deeply emotionally invested. Even if they can't say it, or don't feel comfortable saying it right now, or just in a really rough situation where it's very difficult to like, you know, express it. I, I feel like they still want you to know they care or they have feelings here. Um, Let's see, what's the King of Cups? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Capricorn is here. Pisces. Two of Swords, yeah. Their emotions still block. Okay, I feel like this person is um, having a hard time. You know, whatever it is, it feels like they're going to express to you is going to be like the limited version of what they really want to say. And that's where somebody sends you a text and goes, hey, how's everything? How are the kids or how's work? And you're like, great. And then they stop it right there. Because they got what they needed to know that you're still responsive, that, you know, you're, you're, you know, you possibly share consideration for them as well and feelings for them as well. This person could also be a creative individual where they express themselves in ways that maybe you can't hear, you know, or, or you could be intuitive with this person, you know, that if they're an artist, they may write some music about you. They may, again, create some type of art, something about them not being able to, being able to say exactly what they want to say at this time, as far as their next move. What's the two of swords, the seven of cups. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they're dealing with something that feels like it's just clouding, not even their judgment, but really just clouding their, decision making like what they can do realistically all right again you feel like a lot of you are dealing with someone who wants to be with you but feels like they can't right now and definitely could feel stuck the hangman this person could definitely feel like they're in a situation that if they don't let go of it they're going to stay stuck and they may not be ready to let go of it or there could be something complicated where it's difficult for them to let go so something feels like you know with the seven of cups illusions i did mention some type of dreaminess is going on this person their next move towards you could be to reach out to you because they had a dream about you but not to like you know, do anything about it just yet. This is also someone who could be taking very small steps because with the King of Cups, you have some type of expression and movement, but, you know, it is clarified by some energies going, hold up, 
you know, you got to be careful of, about how you move at this time. So let's get into this queen of wheels because I do feel like this is someone who could, this could definitely represent the person you're dealing with. And they could be very jealous if they feel like you're going to move on or if you're dealing with others, this person could definitely have a tendency to feel like, you know, they want to at times emotionally manipulate a situation to keep you hanging on. This can also be a feminine energy that's involved in whether they take action towards you or not. And by that, I mean, if this person is uh, trouble and creating conflict, then it's going to be very difficult for this King of Cups, who's kind of a softy, um, very big hearted, not really wanting to hurt this person's feelings to move around them. So they got to like build up some sort of like strength some sort of like resistance to somebody who feels like they may be overpowering them right now. Um, somebody who could be very vindictive, very jealous. Okay. So their actions towards you could be about finding a way around this person or finding a way to get, get this person out of their, out of their life so that they can come towards you. <laughs> yeah. Nine of wands. I feel like they're dealing with somebody. I feel like this is a, another person that is in the picture that is incredibly difficult to handle for your person. All right. Um, and I do feel like your person's next actions towards you full blocked by this individual here, this queen of wheels could be a or sign Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or again, somebody they have some type of serious relationship with. Um, this person, it feels like they're holding on. It feels like they're putting up a fight to keep this King of Cups in their life or your person in their life. Um, I don't feel like your person has romantic intentions towards them. I do feel like the Seven of Cups is representing they know there's better options for them outside of this individual, but this individual is a uh, very determined to be in the way because mm -hmm. the hermit in the reverse is like behavioral issues somebody who is not very in tuned to their intuition who doesn't really care about consequences somebody who's not using their higher thought pattern they could just be really violent your person could be dealing with somebody who's kind of toxic or abusive um you know, I feel like, you know, their next actions towards you, they want to do more. Some of you, your person will find a way around this because I'm seeing this two of cups as they find their way to you. But for others of you, it could just stay in like the dream space where they're wanting to make memories with you, being very sad about not being able to be with you, but really hoping for a way out of a situation so that they can be with you, right? I'm kind of getting a mix of things. And the seven of cups can also indicate like the situations are all restricting or limiting for your person, but you're, you may be dealing with someone who handles it differently than somebody else's person in this group, right? I do feel like there's an obstacle of a third party. Your person doesn't feel romantically invested with this person, but this person again, um, knows how to create like difficulty. Okay. Um, and I am getting that this person has a lot of power. All right. So the two of cups for their actions towards you. So I feel like this person wants to be with you. All right. Many of you, this person is going to find their way to you. This person is going to be able to actually be with you to make some memories, to do some things with activities with you, take you out, um, be together with you. I feel like um, there are a lot of you who actually may have like a really good dating experience with this person when they can. I'm kind of getting to throw that in there too. Um, when they can, I don't feel like they're busy. I just feel like, again, there's this like person, right? Because the seven of swords, it kind of feels like maybe sneaking around. It could be just being smart about how you guys um, get together. But it, it kind of feels like, you know, they got to be careful about who finds out. And this person could be unstable. So let's see. What's their action towards you with the two of cups, three of swords? Yeah, there's there's something like very third party about this where your person is very strategic and careful. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom and then the three of swords with the two of cups. It's almost like they have to stay on paper or officially in a situation with somebody else while wanting to be with you. I'm almost picking up their next actions towards you fools like they may have these bouts of hopelessness where they feel like 
they can't be with you. And so they're just going to be in pain or heartbroken. What's the three of swords? The knight of pentacles. I feel like there could also be like just issues they, they feel are more important for them to focus on. Um, they, they could absolutely desire a connection with you, coming back together with you, making things right with you, apologizing to you. The Hierophant indicates some level of responsibility in their life that they may be prioritizing right now. I feel like this person does want to heal things with you with the Knight of Pentacles, with that Three of Swords. I am getting someone who wants to focus on how to make things better and how to make things right. I'm also getting they have financial responsibility in another situation that um, no matter what they want to do with you, like even their finances could be limited. So let's say you guys do go out. They are actually possibly pretty ashamed at what they can't spend on you and what they can't do because of this other situation. All right. So something's definitely like an obstacle here. So Ace of Wands. This person cannot wait to start over with you. I can tell you that. Like they're really excited and hopeful in this energy that that can happen. I do feel like the Knight of Pentacles is indicating they may realize something is taking longer than they wanted it to or could take longer than they wanted it to. So they may have to like sort of tone down that excitement. But with the Ace of Wands, I am getting they're excited to take action towards you. Strongly getting they they have to do it strategically or in secret. Or so somebody is not finding out and creating mess and drama. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's like they get excited about being with you. They have this idea of being with you. And then there's this reality check. I can't do this now or I can't go as far as I want to with group three. I can't, you know, until I end something else. I'm kind of getting this person is wanting to get things off the ground, but until they, with you, but until they can end things elsewhere, which feels like that's moving kind of slow, they know the reality is that they can't move forward with you. What's the Ten of Swords? Ace of Cups. It could be a do it by the book individual where they're like, I don't want to cheat. I want to, you know, make sure I break up with this person in a clean way that my kids are taken care of, you know, or that we go through the divorce process. So that could be it. You know, I feel like on Three of Pentacles, you're dealing with somebody who could come across as like a people pleaser or just wanting to do things really efficient and, and needs your like understanding. All right. This person could even want your help. I, I am getting for some of you, this person's actions towards you may be kind of casual, not because they don't want to be with you or have romantic interest towards you, but because there's some sort of reality about their situation that just doesn't support, you know, being with you right now. All right. And so I feel like they're very sensitive to that reality. And it does feel like a new beginning is possible after an ending is official and finalized here. So um, a lot of you, this person does at least feel like they want to get the words out that they apologize for how something is going or how long something is taking. Three of Pentacles, some of you work with this person in some capacity, whether it's you co-parent or you, um, you, you check up on each other, you know, you stay in each other's lives. Even if you want more from each other, you may just accept and agree to something more casual or platonic right now until something is more um, situated. But I do feel this person wanting to take action towards you. It's like a situation they need to move on from. I strongly just feel like they feel stuck and they have to like transition out of that situation where they're not going to be able to do anything. They are going to be stuck. So um, what's the six of swords for their next action towards you? Because that six of swords goes to the moon. <laughs> so it's kind of like, where, wh what are you moving to? You know, are you going to move on from this situation or are you going to move towards me? Like, what's going on? There's a lack of clarity you're going to experience from this person. 
right? Five of Wands. They're literally having a tough time freeing themselves from a third party situation is what it feels most like. They want to move on, but there's like a big issue or some drama if they do. Eight of Swords, the Tower. And so it's just coming across this person is uh, right now feeling like they're in a rock and a hard place. And so actions towards you may be very limited. Um, I do feel like for um, a lot of you, the, the braver you know, your person is, the more they're going to make things happen with you, right? It is going to still feel like they can't do as much as they want to, but they're going to do their damnedest. They're going to try hard. Um, but I am getting this action feels with the five of wands and the eight of swords like they know they're bound to something that is keeping them from. That's why they're upset. A lot of you, this person, their next action towards you is like expressing and communicating sadness and regret and just a level of depression they could be experiencing because they are not happy. Some of you, this is about somebody that you separated from or somebody that left you or broke up with you and they're miserable and missing you. And so their next action is more about regret. I should have stayed with group three. I shouldn't have gone back to a situation. I should have never been in this third party dynamic. Okay. Because I do strongly get this is about the memories they have with you as opposed to them feeling strongly they can even make new memories with you until something is um, not an issue anymore. So the moon, um, I think for the most part, they are going to try to keep their feelings somewhat hidden from you. The, the, the worst feelings, again, this could be somebody that you do speak to regularly. You could have kids together. Um, you could really just care about each other and you check up on each other. I feel like they're going to tell you the happier stuff. But I do feel like there's a little bit of this person being in misery. All right. The moon. They're sad. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't feel like they want to share their sadness with you. The Six of Pentacles here feels like they may even acknowledge that you're both sad. You know, you both miss each other. You both have no idea what's next. But their next move towards you is some sort of um, maybe telepathic, intuitive, you know, um, investment, you know, if, as far as this connection, like seeing if they can connect to you in a very subtle way, intuitive way. They may even say things and hope that you decode it. Like, oh, they really wanted to tell me that they're sorry, right? Or send you a song or something. Some of you, your person does get creative and finds ways to connect to you. But um, the Five of Pentacles, yeah, the Five of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles clarifying the moon feels a lot like somebody who um, can't see their way out of a situation that they want to stop investing in, that they want to, you know, make a, a move towards you. But they got to like handle this situation first. Um, some of them hope, you know, as far as their next move, that they're sorry for leaving you out in the cold. Strongly getting that they hope you're not mad at them. They hope you don't feel too, you know, angry with them or something for some sort of neglect and abandonment you could feel. All right. So I am going to clarify memories in the extended and get more information this person feels very sad and very lonely. Even if they are like dealing with somebody, they feel very unhappy. Um, what's your person's next move towards you? All right, so forgiveness. Okay, so I am clarifying these. Mystery. communication. I am getting like sneaky link energy too. Um, you know, don't get too offended by that. I just feel like some of you, this person is wanting to be careful and cautious. For some of you, it could be about like, you know, hooking up and stuff on the side, but I do feel like sneaky link energy. We can 
but it's not going to be like this you know, the best experience. At least we get to see each other. At least we get to be together. Something like that, too, for you guys. Let's see what else is coming through. What's next? What's what's their next move? Actions towards this relationship with you. Mask. All right. The sword and rose. Engagement ring. Interesting. Can't wait to clarify that. All right. Something fell. I think I'm going to take it. Something's calling me to take it. The runner. Okay. So they may get away. I will clarify. So I am going to clarify memories, forgiveness, mystery, communication, mask, the sword and rose, engagement, and the runner. To get you guys more information on what action this person is taking towards you. I'm also going to take a look at what's motivating them to take actions towards you, um, even if they're very subtle. What is their motivation? This can give you insight into their intentions, group three. What's blocking them? Let's just take a look in the extended and see what is the actual hold up, what is blocking them. I also want to take a look at messages from your person. What would they say to you right now, group three, okay, in their own words? So group three, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you for hitting that like, subscribe, for letting me know what you think in the comments, for hitting the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. Um, if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box. And I am taking this to the extended now.